this is Gilbert Gottfried, and you're listening to two people who I just wish would shut the fuck up. It's Juan and Joe. We get it. You're loud. Yes, Aflac. It is Monday night. It is. Welcome to a, another episode of Juan and Joe podcast. I am Jonathan Baden. I am Jose Meza. We are coming to you just about 48 hours after uh, going to visit b in prison. Yes. First time in 24 years that we I was able to see my friend. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my friend. I guess I just miss my friend. <laughs> um, that was a much better attempt at Morgan Freeman. That was good. I guess I just miss my friend. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the music in the background so it really sounds like one oh, of those definitely, definitely. We'll <laughs> we'll have to have the uh, Shawshank Redemption fucking yeah. song in the background. Um, yeah. So last uh, uh, just Saturday uh, afternoon, went yeah. and visited my buddy Brad. Um, Road whose trip. Letters from B Rad. Um, as I just mentioned, it was t- first time in twenty four years. Uh, that I had actually been able to physically see him and actually talk to him. Um, I've been corresponding with him for the last 24 years, well, probably 20 years, by just mail. So, you know, I haven't been able to talk to him really, I mean, since since 94. So it was definitely yes. surreal. Um, Bay and I took a trip down there. And was able to visit with him for just about three hours. Yeah, it was a good road trip too. Yeah, so it was driving through the most beautiful parts of the oh state. fuck <laughs> yeah 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 sheep more sheep desert and more, more desert. sheep I had a shit ton of sheep <laughs> hella sheep hella sheep that was so crazy a <laughs> uh, lot of yeah I, I I don't know I guess uh, I guess if you're looking for sheep herder <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> Start going towards yeah. Casa Grande over yeah, there. Eloy is hiring. Oh yeah, they got a shit ton of them over there. They got black sheep. They got white sheep. They got <laughs> all fucking sorts of sheep. <laughs> but the two black sheep were kind of on their own off yeah. the side. Like, I remember two huh? blacks. It huh? means it's a uh, gang. Yep, yep. Two or more. Two or more. It's gang activity. Gang activity. And uh-oh, if uh-oh. and if there's two or more whites, it's called the community. Yep. So it's a little <laughs> different. <laughs> um, I guess it's still a beautiful area though because you still have the mountains in the background and a little bit more farmland but it's we were out there man man that shit is so crazy so uh you'll hear it if you guys heard the last uh the podcast sorry i keep saying it, uh, it you'll hear because really we already recorded the podcast these this podcast was already going to be out by the time exactly, the other ones yeah. are i but mean but it's confusing to us because we haven't out. published it yeah because we haven't published it yet so <laughs> yeah but anyways, um, in the last episode, we're I said that we confused. were at Casa Grande because yep. on my on our way there, of course, I forgot to put gas because I'm mm. all pumped, I'm all excited to go see, you know, to go see B Red. So I forgot to fill up the night before, and then yeah. I figured this. I figured in the morning, I thought, well, I'll just go fill up after I go pick up Baden. Yeah. So I went over there, picked up Baden, and guess what? I forgot to fill up again. <laughs> So didn't even mention, didn't even cross your didn't mind. Didn't even cross my and mind. We're off. Yeah, let's all do of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden, I think we're probably halfway there by the time I thought, ah, shit. I think I might have to get some gas. Uh, I mean, not that it was crazy danger, but we didn't know when the gas last, the no. next gas station was going no. to be. No, you're that far out. Yeah, and and I mean, it said quite a bit. Yeah, it said what an hour and a half, but actually ended up being maybe like an hour and ten minutes or yeah. something like that. Went pretty quick. Yeah, so we stopped by Casa Grande to fill up, and um, man, those small towns are all the <laughs> same. It's like once you live in a small town, you fucking give up yeah, yeah. on life. You don't, you don't need anything after that. No, no, no I'm just gonna wear this sweatshirt again. That's Is it. it okay? Yeah, Everybody it's, it's dresses fine. the same. 
Every, I mean, and everybody goes shopping well, at Walmart, so everybody got the same outfit anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's the only clothing town, uh, clothing store in town anyway. Yeah, at but the Walmart. But man, the way the people dress, they just, they just give up. Like they just, they just don't give a shit. And I'm not saying you should always dress up to, to, to go out or something. But for Christ's sake, just. You know, there's a difference between your sleeping clothes and you're just close <laughs> to go do go to the store. Or some uh, wake shit. up, take a piss, pull up your sweatpants, and go out. Oh man, <laughs> that's basically all it was. It was just oh. unreal. But and we saw a couple uh, war, uh, WalMarts out there. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, fans yeah. and shit out there. <laughs> um, and there are a bunch of cows under the shed, uh, dairy farms basically. <laughs> it's pretty much Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> But it's the same thing when we went out, you know, we got to Eloy and I dropped you off and I went over there and I, I went back to the gas station that was right on the edge of town. I grabbed a water and some sunflower seeds and I'm like, I'm going to go up to that park over there because there's some cool like background stuff. Maybe I'll get some stock footage that I can upload later, you know, roll right. the camera a little bit, maybe take some photos, maybe go back out of town toward where, more where you were and take some photos of that area. And I'm like, I pull up to this little park and I'm like, I'm just going to. I'm just going to get out, grab my journal, not my whole backpack with my camera and everything. I'm just going right. to grab the journal and just kind of hang out for a minute. And I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing exactly what I'm wearing today, pretty much. It's probably the same jeans. And a hoodie. And a hoodie. And a t-shirt. And, like, right away, people were just like, who's that guy? That's like, a difference because he, you're he's clean. Not, he's not dressed. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not even dressed. I'm wearing a jeans and a fucking hoodie. Yeah. Like, I mean, the hoodie's fairly new, but it's not brand new. And I was, I was laughing too because I had like dog hair all over from us sitting on the couch. So I was like, I was like, oh shit, I probably should have rollered before I left the house. But apparently a lint roller would have made it even worse. Yeah. And then they, they were just coming out in droves. It was just character after character just wandering the streets. And I'm like, where am I? Like, Jesus. It's like The Walking Dead. <laughs> you, it, it's, you're, you gotta be, if you look remotely clean, oh. you are fucking out of town. Yeah. Every time you, yeah. People just stare every everywhere you go. We yeah. get stares. Like the only place you were normal was when I was at the gas station because that's right off the freeway. So that's yeah, what, yeah. that's where them and damn that's, city folk are all the time. That's so right. That's we right. expect you to be there, but hey, you're two miles from the freeway. Uh, what now you you're in our area. You ain't from around here, is you? Yeah. No, <laughs> no. I actually turn on the closet light when I pick my clothes out, not just fucking <laughs> grab whatever and throw it on. Hey, hey, yo, he's got a full set of teeth. Yeah. <laughs> And hey, wait a minute! He looks like he changes his clothes and underwear every day. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm a week in. I'm still wearing the same thing. <laughs> it just—it's so bizarre. And listen, you guys, whoever comes from a small town, whatever. I come from a small town, so I fucking yep. know exactly <laughs> what that is. Yep. And I still make fun of those people when I go back. <laughs> to their face. Uh, Brad makes fun of them, and he's in prison. <laughs> So, I mean, shit. Yeah, he got out, too. Yeah, he got out, <laughs> He got too. out of that town. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm getting out of this town. How? <laughs> um, well, that wasn't what I was thinking. Oh, about. man. Um, yeah, That's so the last, the last episode, sorry. That, I, I mean, it's all over the place. I know, I know I'm all over the place. Um, yeah. But, again, I'm going in there to talk to my buddy. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not about, I'm not about an interview type of person if it was... If it was somebody else, whatever, maybe. Sure. Sure. But he's he's. It's my buddy. I'm not gonna. It's not an interview style. It's just getting together, getting to know, or getting to talk to him about all the shit that we used to Catch do. So up. yeah. So it's all over the place. We're just talking about whatever comes up. Um. I mean, I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to not trying to, but it's like you're trying to fit three hours, you yeah. know, of 24 years yeah. or, or more of of history and past and so forth. I mean, into a three-hour conversation. I mean, you're just all over the place. Whatever yeah. comes to your mind, whatever comes to your head, you just you're just fucking going. You know. Yeah. That's good. I mean, it's like if you were to go to a party or have a party and be like, people start talking like, no, 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 we weren't going to talk about UFC tonight. That's not on the agenda. See, yeah, I got a couple of topics. Um, we were going to talk about cars a little bit, and we were going to talk about the weather, but we were not going to talk about UFC. That's on the do not talk about list. Right. You don't have an agenda. You and then just before go you know it, you're just, just talking to fucking, your dog because yeah. everybody else left. <laughs> everybody punched you in the face. Yeah. You're, you're fucking know, you, lit you up. Just go there and you just start fucking talking. Like, yeah, who I knows mean, where it's going to go. Exactly. And I didn't care where it went. It nope. was just about talking. So, yep. um, I am all over the place, but that's just the way it is. Um, you know, I just, 
just it was just things that were coming to mind and how it always works. You talk about one thing and and then all of a sudden it goes on to another thing and it just branches out. Yep. So uh, it was it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, you know I was I was saying earlier uh, debating that you know he was talking to me about his about his mom um, who unfortunately uh, passed about three years ago and. When I was talking to him about that, that's a big part of his life, you know, yeah. his his, uh, his mom. The impact was. his mom had on his life. Yeah, yeah I definitely. I mean, when his dad passed away, we were in high school at that point, and it hit okay. him pretty hard. And he did, like, kind of, not that he went nuts. He says, like, he went nuts, but I'm saying as far as a kid, you, it crushes you, you know? Yeah. And he oh, was, I can't he was fucking crushed. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't either. So um, his mom was there, you know, in a sense. Uh, and, and so especially you know being in prison she was probably the one that contacted him the most the one that Mm -hmm. helped him out the most and of course that should be no surprise i mean that's 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 the case and i mean in most cases that's what happens but anyways you know unfortunately at that point when you're locked up you lose friends you lose family members you lose parents and you're not able to go the funeral you're not able to go to services and And that is, that's, that's hard. I mean, that's gotta be, that's gotta be hurtful, you know? Yeah. There's no closure. You know, I used to, when I was a kid, I always thought wakes were stupid. Like just, you know, let's just have the service, put them in the ground and move on. I never understood it. But then there's that, that part of closure when you have a wake and you can actually see it. And then like, like that reality hits you. Like if you don't have that ritual, like there's people that passed since I moved down here. And I'm like, well, I wasn't talking to him every day anyways. Like, it's just weird. Like, I don't think about it till I go back. And I'm like, oh, shit, I can't see right. so-and-so because right. they're, they're not with us anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not one of those things that hits you every day. It's just one of those things that's random. But to have somebody that's that close to you and you can't get that closure, you can't see the body, you know, or just yeah. participate in the ceremony. Like, that, that shit never mattered to me when I was a kid. I always thought it was a waste of time. And, like, the older you get, you're like... Oh, all right. I guess I'm still learning shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think so. I think we expand because, like, you know, as we were talking about earlier, it's just like we, uh, when we're kids, we take time for granted. We take oh, yeah. a lot of Everything things for, for granted. granted. Yeah, but. And then as we grow older, we realize how important all those things are and what seem to be little uh, end up being some of the more important parts, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so uh, so you know my uh, so it was sad for him to um, to lose his mom and not to be able to, of course, make that service. And at this point in time in prison, he is um, what's called the shot collar, and the shot collar is um, I guess along the lines of would be the CEO in, in in a way. He still has a sense, I guess you could say the owner or the board to answer to. So he did have a boss, mm-hmm. but he was the shot caller, which in other words, he's in charge of policies. He's in charge of punishments. He's in charge of, he oversees everything as far as his people go in the prison itself. Yeah, he's actually working. The, the boss doesn't have to work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing all the boss work. Yeah. So he, uh, so, you know, he was going through the time where his, his mom passed away and he was telling me how hard it was. And, um, and he actually almost, uh, was, t- he was telling me the story of what, when it happened because he was over there. He has, he says, he I have literally a hundred people coming to me, Jose, like literally a hundred people coming to me. And, um, and I'm distracted, you know, I, my emotions are running high. My mom just passed and, and I want to do so. I got I feel like I got to take some shit in order to help me out. And he goes, and my boys came and grabbed me and and told me, no, no, you can't be taking anything, you know. And he wanted Mm -hmm. to, but they're like, no, no, no. So they grabbed him. They set everything up. They took him over to um, this area, I guess, where you can kind of see the mountain, the hills, out in the desert. Supposedly, they think peaceful, this little area. I don't know if it's like the yard or what. I have no idea. But, Mm -hmm. you know, he said that his boys set this up before everything, you know, during that time or during the day or something like that. And... They grabbed him. They walked him out, and um, and basically held the service for his mom. And so his boys put something mm. together so so his uh, so he could say bye to his mom. And he That's said nice. it really really hit home for him. It 
made him cry like a fucking baby and you know he was cussing them out and saying how much he hates them and that they're a bunch of assholes and you fucking pricks and this and that and of course and then he's like thank you guys i love it i love you type of thing you know because that's how we are as guys <laughs> yeah. um yeah. especially i'm sure prison dudes a little bit different oh, yeah even more hard yeah uh but uh but he, he i think that i think that really helped him um in that case because I, you know, sure. you can't do anything. You go see your parent. I guess your mom, and I mean anything like that. And you know, you're in a place where you have no family for the most part. Um, no, just the family you made. Yeah, the family you made, and yeah, and so he was able to to have a little bit of service that they put together for him. And yeah, he almost he almost wanted to. He was tearing up a little bit when he was even talking about it. And that's again, that's three years ago. You know, yeah. so. It was good. It was good to it was good to hear that. I was I was very happy to hear that. Yeah, good to get closure. That's that's the hardest part, I think. It's extremely it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Especially being locked up, you don't have the option to do anything. No, no, Just definitely not. Wait. Definitely you know, not. How did he get the news? Do you know? Like, did he get the news fairly quickly? I mean, I think he did. I think his. I think it's his sister. I don't know mm. if they actually called into the prison or she wrote him. Mm. Um, I can't remember exactly, but. God, that's got to be just brutal. Yeah, I mean, especially coming, you know, getting that, and there it is. It just fucking hits home, you know. Um, but uh, but it was crazy. I mean, you know, I don't remember if we if we did talk about it in the last episode. I'm sure we did, but you know, we first we first got there. It was crazy. I mean, we pull up, and I mean, he's not a cop. The guy wasn't a cop, right? No, he was like, I don't uh, think he was. As it was, I mean, is he a correctional officer? He just wasn't dressed well, like a correctional officer, though. Well, they all have their titles, so he would have been the uh, search officer. <laughs> or the parking lot officer. The canine, or the canine officer. Canine officer. But, but you can't say canine <laughs> officer because that's a cop, yeah. right? Yeah. He definitely crazy. wasn't a cop. No. But he had canine. Yeah. So what, I wonder, like... I don't know. I wonder he wasn't what the there when I came is. back. He was already gone by the time he came back? He was gone by the time I came back, yeah. yeah. So I think... I think the reason he was telling us about it is I don't think they normally have somebody stationed there. Yeah, like if you go back, I think it's you, random. There might not be anybody there, so you just yeah. pull in the parking lot, which is weird to think about. You could get all the way to the parking lot in just your vehicle, just pull up. Like I've never driven up to a prison oh, before. Me either. You know, but were, I guess it makes I expected sense. Expected like an, a fence, and we'd park, and you'd have to walk to. No, you just pull up, and it's a parking lot, and park in one of the nice spots, and wander by the flag, and head in the front door. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I guess it's good. So then that way, at least you don't feel too fucking yeah. intimidated, you know. Yeah, I thought it'd be a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, it was it was cool. We just went in there. He asked a couple questions. I had to fill out a little form real quick. We gave him his our IDs, and asked if the canine could check the truck, and he said uh, yeah. And um, sniff away. And sniff away, and that was it. He uh, he was he's, he's a young kid. Yeah, um, almost Napoleon Dynamite-ish looking. I think <laughs> that'd been funny if he's like, "Do you mind if I sniff the truck?" Um, actually, no, that's not a good idea. Like you had no idea yeah. I had a joint on me or something. Oh, Wouldn't fuck. you just be you oh, fucking yeah. asshole? You yeah. brought a fucking joint. I just be like, "Fucking I didn't, take him." I didn't think that. <laughs> hey, say, hey, say hi to Brad for me. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, I'll come you visit might, you next week. Yeah, I'm visiting Brad yeah. today. <laughs> you're just like, yeah, no, that's fine. And all of a sudden, like my eyes get real big and I get a little white. Like, uh, what kind of dog? That would have been fucking fresh, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck, man. We're just, we're just going to visit. Why would they search the car? I would. <laughs> um, it's a wee. It's a joint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they search the vehicle, and we yeah, we just pull in, and just right there, I am, I end up, uh, and, 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 I end up just going in, right? I mean, just this building that, yeah. it, it looks like uh, just any other government building, I guess, just smaller um flag yeah. poles and all that shit a little more razor wire than the courthouse yeah <laughs> around the outside of it yeah Jeez. but yeah i i go in there i went in there uh never been to visit in a prison so it was kind of crazy but i just go there and um and yeah i mean i couldn't take anything i had to leave my phone in the in mm -hmm. the in the car I had to take my wallet and leave it in these little lockers that they have. So I can, I mean, you can't take anything. The only thing you can take is the little key for your locker, and that's it. Um, but yeah, I go in there, and you know, and and um, 
I got to get my little badge, my little visitor's badge. I got to fill out another goddamn form. Jesus. Yeah, I know. Government and their forms. I, I, they love it. They love it. And then, uh, and so I do that. Give her my, um, give her my ID. And then, you know, like I said, there's like this little black lady right next to me who obviously is there to visit somebody as well. Yep. And then um, I, I'm I'm sitting there, or we're standing there, and you know, she's like, okay, well, you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a. A lock or two because I have my wallet, you know. I said okay. She says twenty five cents. I said okay, <laughs> but you can get a, you can get your quarter back. And then I'm thinking, but I don't have a quarter, you know. Yeah. So she goes, you don't have a quarter? And I said no. She goes, oh here, I got one here. You can just use this one. So I'm like okay. I mean they're already nicer than some people, <laughs> yeah, you know, no which kidding, is fucking yeah. crazy. <laughs> um, and so, but I did have cash in there because if you know, um, before our, our what our, our the episode that's up right now, yeah. We read some of the rules up there, and I said that um, that there's a card that you get a vending card for the yep. vending machine, so you can share a meal with with the inmates. That um, it costs five bucks for this card, and uh, and well, it costs five dollars to get the card, but I think it's a dollar twenty five. They just you know put the three seventy five or something like that on credit. Sure. So. You know you can't take cash, so I said I I I said I I have cash. Can I? Where's the card? And she says because Baden ends up dropping me off. He took my my truck back out, mm-hmm. and I said so. Where's my? Uh, I said so. Where where do I do the card? And she's like, well, um, oh, you got dropped off, huh? And I said, yeah. And she goes, I said, is it a drive? She goes, yeah, it's the buildings over there on the other side. And that was, those were pretty far, right? Yeah, it was. I mean, it was, it was, there, was three not city a, blocks. Four yeah, or five it was city blocks. not. It was not yeah. short. It was, no, it was a ways. And then fucking, what do you mean? Like I'm walking over there? Yeah. Like they're gonna fucking <laughs> go ahead? They're gonna tase my ass and take me and think I'm some goddamn escape <laughs> comic, especially yeah. I'm Mexican already. I already got the fucking cards held against <laughs> no, me. No, I'm English. <laughs> uh, no, just pick cotton. Uh, <laughs> So we got a runner. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> fucking rubber bullets in your ass. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, I, I, yeah, I saw it happening in the rearview mirror. I just took off. I was like, oh fuck! I, I filmed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be here for this. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so the the, the uh, you know. They, she said, oh, well, the machine, we have a machine. She goes, but it just went down today. And I'm thinking, oh, shit. ah, shit, you know? <laughs> and that sucks because I want to, you know, get something for Brad. I yeah, mean, he's sure. in a vending machine. You've got the vending machines. I mean, I, I'm sure he has access to that type of stuff, but you never know. So yeah. I figured, why not? And I was going to be disappointed, but I'm like, you know, what else can I do? It's okay. So luckily, this this little uh, this little black lady, and I, I wish I would have got her name. I should have. Um, had a card because she was there visiting somebody else, like I said. And she says, I have like $40 on here. Um, if you like, we could share it. And I was like, oh. And so she asked the lady because she's it's her first time there yeah, too. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, uh, so are we going to be in the same area? And she said, yeah. And she said, so could we share this? And she says, yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. So she goes, why don't you just give me the money that you use afterwards and, you know, we'll just go from there. But we could share it from, you know, we could share it. And I was like, wow, this is, that's nice, you know, so it was amazing. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so then they got the metal detector and the little conveyor belt. Basically an airport thing, but on a way, way smaller scale. <laughs> I mean, way smaller. Yeah. But same thing. Okay, take off your shoes. And, you know, she says, oh, we're just, we're just kind of like TSA. Oh, okay. And I, you know, I said, well, yeah, but you guys are much nicer, much more cordial, you know? <laughs> yeah. And she actually got a little bit of a laugh of it. She goes, well, we do try. Uh, so got in, got through there, got shoes on, whatever. I'm going out and we follow one of the um, correctional officers out, I guess you could say. Opens the door and comes to the back and you see like this, these fucking buildings and everything's clean, of course. The sidewalk and there's like not even, I mean, there's enough... If you could find a weed in there, you should get some fucking money because everything's just fucking clean, really? you know? Yeah. I walk in, of course, there's a fucking prison gate. I mean, just like when you see in the movies when you're getting ready to walk in yeah, somewhere, yeah. there's just this metal-ass gate with this 10-foot fucking 11-foot uh, goddamn fence. Barbed wire, razor wire. Razor, all over. razor wire. Yeah. It's got barbed wire. Bar it's got razor wire at the Jesus. top. Two sets of razor wires at the top, I believe. Oh. And then it's got two sets of razor wires at the bottom on both sides of that fence. And there's like four fences, you know? Jeez. So you uh, so there's the gate. It comes up, opens up. He radios in so we can so he can open up the gate. 
we go through. That gate has to shut first, and then the yep. other one has to finally, so the other one can open. Yep. And then we just walk through, and it's just probably another, like I said, maybe another 10 yards, 15 yards, and there's the visitor center, and oh. there it is. I mean, about 25, 30 tables that you sit across, and uh, and it's just this uh, decent-sized room with, you know, you got all the inmates in there talking with their with their families and their loved ones and and there I was sitting down she they put me to sit you know had me sit down in one chair and they sat the other lady um in the other side and um yeah and we just talked and uh luckily the lady was asking the the you know the, the person in charge the lobby officer as I think we decided yeah, to call her lobby officer because they're officer <laughs> for everything uh, um, asked how we could share it she said you guys just both go up to the vending machine and then at that point you could choose but you guys have to go by yourselves of course inmates can't yeah, walk yeah. can't do anything no, but it's cool them. that they don't have them fucking chained up either you yeah, know that's you what was know nice what to expect. Yeah. yeah and and he even said he's like this is the first time that i'm able to actually come out somewhere like this i mean besides the yard yeah. he goes and i'm not cuffed or anything yeah. so yeah he's not cuffed he's nothing i is mean he wearing an orange jumpsuit or would they have blue them? blue yeah i think that's nevada for them okay. there that's why because oh, the know. hawaiians had the tan Ah. Uh, because there was a Mexican cat that was behind us. He was wearing blue, and, and Brad knows him from Nevada, so I think they okay. were, they're all color coded that way. Ah. Uh, uh, the the, <laughs> the color clothes, <laughs> not not the. <laughs> they're color coded uh, in a lot of ways. Skins, yeah. <laughs> they're color coded in prison by race. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but for outsiders, it's a little different. <laughs> so we got the black Hawaiians, and we got the black Nevadans. <laughs> Yeah, so then, uh, so yeah, so she's like, yeah, you guys go over there and get the vending machine and, uh, you know, order from the vending machine. And, uh, yeah, I was sitting there for, it sat there for a little while, though, 10, 15 minutes, you know, before I was like, oh, man. And then I, every time somebody would come up, I was like, oh, I'm looking, you know, like, a, I, I guess I, now I know what a, like a, a dog feels like when <laughs> just waiting for the owner to come home almost, you know. <laughs> Um, I'm just because yeah, I was just like looking, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> oh. I finally see Brad come in after like four people or something. I was yeah. like, "Holy shit!" And uh, and now yeah, we give a nice big hug and this embrace and shit, and and then just fucking went to talking, you know. That's and awesome. Looking at the little menu that he had, you know, like they give the inmates so yeah. they could choose what they want out of the vending Get machines. A meal, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't know how to read that, you're fucked because they don't have no pictures. <laughs> I just thought of that. Shit. Can I get the number uh, three? Yeah. What is this? Beach, uh, is bacon cheeseburger. Oh, oh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, at first he didn't want anything, but he did uh, eventually because I kept like, dude, you got to get something. So um, ended up going over there. He wanted a bacon cheeseburger. And then I asked him, and then I said, you want, you want a soda? And he's like, well, yeah, well, yeah, sure, but whatever. I'm like, just pick whatever. I think he was just so happy too. He just didn't give yeah. a shit. You yeah, know? I'll eat cardboard. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a, a fuck. fuck. Let's cardboard talk. Cardboard and you water. Know? Let's do this shit. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I said, just get a soda, man. And and he's like, well, just give me whatever. And I said, how about a Mountain Dew? <laughs> and he's like, all right, Mountain Dew sounds good. And you know, that's what we used to drink for lunch, Mountain Dew, mm -hmm. um, on lunchtime. So. Finally, I get the little, I get the little lady. We go over there, get the, go to the vending machine. I get this bacon cheeseburger. I go over, I get a Mountain Dew, and I look in the vending machine and I see a Snickers bar. And I said, "Shit, <laughs> I got to get a Snickers bar for Brad." And the reason why is because I come back, I, you know, because well, because at lunch he used to get the Snickers bar and a Mountain Dew almost every day from high school. And I do either that or a chocolate uh, pie, pudding pie. Mm. But it was always Mountain Dew and Snickers. Yeah, I was in love with the apple pies and the Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I didn't think God, Mountain Dew until I started pies. smoking weed. Oh, really? Yeah, that was always the... Because nothing else quenched your drink. thirst when you were high. Oh, yeah, I you guess know, the like, cotton mouth shit. Any, yeah, anything else wouldn't cut through it, but... Yeah, that makes sense. Or Mountain Dew oh, yeah, or some kind of citrusy shit. thing would mm -hmm. just like cut through all that and you'd be like... Oh, it does. It actually does. But I used to hate Mountain Dew when I was really little. Oh, I fucking loved. Uh, that was my favorite shit. Like I loved it. Um, and yeah, so I see a Snickers bar. I grabbed no, that shit. Sure. I came back. I walked to the table. I said, "I got your burger, Brad." But I got our high school lunch also, and I just had the fucking <laughs> Mountain Dew and the Snickers, and he just started laughing and fucking grabbed it. He opened that uh, shit up and just started fucking eating it. So it was a cool little like moment, yeah. you know. It was yeah. it was a lot of fun. 
Um, but yeah, it was, it was a nice first date. It was a nice first date. <laughs> you gonna call him? <laughs> Definitely. Um, Isn't it that awkward? Just kind of like. Like it's good that it just went rolling because sometimes you don't know where to start. Like when you haven't seen somebody for that long. Yeah, I guess so. Like, it can be. It can be. You know, like yeah, like, not with guys so much. Yeah, not as much with dudes. Uh, if, if it's a if it's a friend from the past like that, you know, he's just gonna go right into conversation. I guess it's more like if it's an acquaintance or like a cousin or something. Like you don't know that well, and you're not yeah, that yeah, close. yeah. Like it's almost like you you're forced to like talk. That. Yeah, they know like that. Uh, so uh, how's it going? It's true. <laughs> hey. Uh, so, uh, so is it like your dad's related to my <laughs> mom or like, exactly. uh, well, how's it go again? I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Want a beer? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. All yes. Right. Uh, That'll help a lot. <laughs> yeah. And then the one thing that really will come together though, if you're a dude, you're like, holy shit, did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. That, was, that ass was great. <laughs> yeah. Man, you know what? And then, then at that point, all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. there's a fucking connection. You both, is she related? No, I don't think so. All uh, right, cool, man. Holy shit. Tits and ass <laughs> are like a mag. That's like, all right, we're back Ice, on track. Icebreaker. <laughs> we just call her Icebreaker. We have her walk by all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. So, um, and there was a little cutie in there too. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I saw her come out. Ooh. Yeah, she was like, nice. Hello. Mm -hmm. Did you do a conjugal? Uh, Did you find out where those were, or no? I don't even know if they have them. <laughs> I don't even. Know I if have they no do. idea. I don't even know if they do anymore. Yeah. It's always something, something you. But she was wearing yoga stuff. pants. So she was breaking the rules. Uh, God damn it! Yeah, you should have worn yours. I know. Yeah, I should have been able everything. to. I said, I was disappointed. I wasn't yeah. able to wear my yoga pants. Aww. I have that division sign hanging out. <laughs> My spiritual gangster yeah yoga pants I could show my religion that way <laughs> <laughs> oh man but uh but yeah it was an awesome visit it was it was it was so fucking fun and then um and, and you know and i just want to skip to the end real quick with with after so you know we get done talking they call like okay time to go and um inmates stand on one side of the room and visitors stand on the other and uh and so we walk out and the lady's like she's like oh you know how you know how much how much was on this card and i said i think he actually had like 47 dollars in there you know Jeez. i was like holy shit um so <laughs> i jacked it up just in case yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so here's the card Give me that shit. Yeah. oh that's a cool card yeah. <laughs> i didn't know they're blue cool that's what they look like <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, so she's like, you know how much, you know how much is it? It's like forty seven bucks. She goes, oh, what did you get? You remember what you got? And I said, yeah, I got the, I got the burger. It was four bucks. I said, I got a soda, but I don't know how much that was. And she's like, oh, those were two dollars. I'm like, okay, cool. And I said, I got a Snickers bar. Who knows how much Snickers bar was? I'm, I imagine it's like a dollar. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. And so I said, you know what? I'll just give you ten bucks. You know. And she's mm -hmm. like, okay. And I only had a twenty, of course. And she's like, "Do you, you know?" And and she had known that because I was gonna, I had given it to her before we went into the oh, to the kind of prepay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, take that. And so she says, uh, she says, "Well, do you have change for a ten? I said, "I don't." But I said, "Well, we'll figure something out." So you know, we all walk back, and we get done, and and um, and so you know, as I said, they have our IDs and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And we have swap our, it out. Yeah, we have our little visitor badge. So I'm standing in line. Uh, well, first of all, I, I have to go to the locker to get my goddamn wallet. I swear to God, I swear to God, I put it in 25 because I go 25 quarter easy to remember. <laughs> yeah. And I must have fucking lost that train of thought between the fucking three steps, the two seconds it took me to get to the goddamn locker room and this thought or that locker to this thought because I'm sticking this goddamn. First of all, I can't even stick the fucking key in the keyhole i'm like what the hell is i'm turning it upside down turning this way you know i mean I, it's so weird i mean technology i can breeze through but you give me some <laughs> archaic shit all of a sudden i can't fucking do a goddamn thing so match up the keys yeah so i'm like sitting there and then finally it goes in i'm like oh here we go and the son of a bitch won't turn and she's like i think you just got to turn it to the left i'm like oh, i'm trying to turn it to the left I'm like, what the hell's going on did you check with the key officer <laughs> That was my next move. <laughs> that was my next move. So then I'm like, uh, I'm like, son of a bitch, and I think, and I'm thinking, I gotta get into this locker because my yeah. fucking wallet's yeah. in there, you know. So finally, I go, uh, maybe I could try just the next one over, which is 19. <laughs> Opens up. 
<laughs> I'm like, what the hell? 25, 25, 19. I mean, so yeah, I know sense. what I'm going to blame it on. Yeah. It says lockers can be searched at random. Maybe they search them and they put it in the other fucking locker. It has to be. has yeah. to be. Even yeah. though the key still like, worked key, in that one. Sh- in the game. Don't yeah. overthink it. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. So I finally, finally <laughs> break. Hey! I finally break and pick the lock with the appropriate key yeah. <laughs> and the appropriate locker number. Call the locksmith. <laughs> <laughs> so I finally get it. So anyway, so I'm out. So then I'm back in line, like waiting for that shit. And, uh, and I'm looking around for the, you know, for the little lady and I'm like, Where's she at? You know, and I'm like, oh, maybe she's in the restroom. Yeah. So I'm waiting over there, and I see the door open up, and she comes in from the outside, and she's like, "What are we all waiting for?" And I and and she goes, "Oh, we got to give the the badges back." I said, "Yeah." Plus, you want your license back, don't you? She's like, "Oh yeah, I do. That's right." You know, and I was like, "Yeah." Nice. And she goes, "Yeah, I went out there," and she's and she goes, "Man, where's this dude at?" <laughs> 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 uh, so then I said, yeah, yeah, we got to give this back. So I go back up to the counter. So we're, I'm at the counter and I said, okay, I let her know. I said, I'm going to go to the restroom after this. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to take off and I'll give you your money when I get out. You know, she goes, okay. So she, I, I get my, I get my license back. She's there. And I said, okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the license. I'm going to go get my, I'm going to I'm going to go to the restroom. And she goes, no, no, hon, we're good. And I said, what do you mean? She goes, don't worry about it. And I said, no, 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 I, I have to give you something. She goes, no, 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 we're okay. Oh, you know, it's okay. And I said, well, at least let me give you, because I had a 20 and a five, because yeah. that's for the card, right? Yeah. So I said, well, let me, at least let me give you five. And she goes, no, hon, don't worry about it. We're good. Just pay it forward. Oh. And that was very, very sweet of her, man. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so um, I just wish I would have got her name. I never did. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't know, maybe a, one day I'll run into her again over there. Her nephew was there. She hadn't uh, seen him in 20 years. Jeez. So, yeah, it was kind of crazy. A couple of decades. Yeah, but but it was very nice. And it's crazy still how, you know, there's so many nice, oh, excuse me, so many nice people out there still, you know. Yeah, it's weird if you had gone to arby's or the dmv you wouldn't have met as nice of people i know the, that's go to so the prison crazy. everybody the, yeah the workers are nicer the people that are there are nicer it's fucking bizarre man you're all choosing to be there and you're going out of your way to be there yeah yeah just thankful everybody's just kind of thankful they get the opportunity to visit probably yeah i'm, I'm <laughs> sure it is and then you know and i and I, I i think i did mention it or or at least i did mention it to you when you know brad's like where the fuck is Jose at? You know, because I, you know, he probably got my letter telling mm-hmm. him that I was gonna go visit him in the morning. Yeah, and he's like, "Man, I was almost afraid you were like in some car accident." And I'm just thinking, Jesus fucking Christ, could you just say maybe I had a flat tire or some shit? <laughs> yeah. You know, fuck, you gotta go that goddamn dark. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, uh, maybe you uh, yeah, ran out of gas or something. Yeah, I thought maybe you know some <laughs> some chopper came and fucking <laughs> lit you guys yeah. up or something. You know, I thought maybe you ran out of gas and then got picked up by a hitch- hitchhiker and then he cut your head off yeah and then he fucked your torso <laughs> or some shit you know like uh no nah, man no i just you know came in the afternoon oh, oh that was my next case <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. That's an option. that makes sense now <laughs> so yeah so i just told them i told them originally in the morning because i like i was unaware that you can actually visit that entire time yeah yep. uh which made way made way, way more sense to go in the afternoon and get a full three hour window. Full then three hour window. Wake up at five and start driving. Well, or yeah, something crazy. That or or, <clears throat> you know, leave at eight like we were planning to because yeah. you know visiting hours with. are eight to twelve. We get there at ten. Yeah. I'm there for an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, so it was it was it was fucking awesome. And man, that fucking time just went by for me. Of course, you know. Oh yeah. That's how that's how it happens. Yeah, when you're doing something you want to be doing. <sighs> yeah, or you're just trying to catch up with somebody yep. or whatever the case is. So. Uh, so we were there, I was there for, yeah, for three hours. And so I, I just kind of explained to him like, oh yeah, this is what happened. She told me you could, if you came at one, you can do the whole three hours. And I was like, oh shit. So I hit up Baden because Baden has to do something else and tell me, I'm telling you what, there's a lot to do out there in Eloy. <laughs> yeah. I had uh, a great time. <laughs> went to the carnival and then I did some shopping. Fucked a couple sheep. Yeah. Oh uh, wait, sorry. I will bleep that out. A couple of sheep. <laughs> oh, oh, the whole thing? Oh, no, that's okay. I grew up in Minnesota. They're probably expecting me to fuck a sheep. Yeah, they're, they're probably like, what? Yeah. You didn't, and you didn't stop? 
It wasn't his first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. Big West Side guy now. Doesn't fuck sheep anymore, huh? Yeah. You too good for them, huh? Huh, city boy? Yeah, huh? <laughs> oh, I live in Phoenix now. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Well, there's three of your friends drinking a beer, fucking a sheep, and you're standing there going, I, I don't, I'm not going to do it, guys. That's not good. I just, no. I'm... Ooh, you're too good for this? <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm not too good for much, but yes. Yes, yes but I that am. that I am. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely I am. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so it was it was um yeah, it was it was crazy to 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 be out there and and so Baden, I told Baden the whole deal of what, you know, we can go out there for a couple hours or whatever and he's the one that suggested let's just go out there for the whole time. Fuck so yeah. as I said, I appreciated that for sure. Oh yeah. Um and I wanted to I wanted to make sure to get that. You know, I'll be there to support you and everything else. But you know, it was fun to do the record on the way there, record yeah. on the way back, and oh. all that shit. But I, I wanted to hear about it. It was, it was good. It was, it was definitely it's a blast for sure. Crazy. I mean, um, it's, like one, it's a fucking once in a lifetime experience. For it, you. it well, you know, I mean, it is, and then it's, it's like, it's like, uh, it's, it's also good when you when you go with a friend when you drive somewhere because. Yeah. You and I never have a fucking problem shutting the fuck up. You know? <laughs> I mean, we always talk. Like we yeah, yeah. just talk, and and so it's always good to just even have a bullshit, yeah. a little bit of bullshit going on. You yeah, because there's no other distractions. There's nothing else to do when you're driving but bullshit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it just hard to get. But it made that trip fucking fly, oh, yeah. dude. Especially the ride home, man. We got fucking back. Quick. Holy shit! The ride oh, home was Jesus even Christ. faster. We're already hitting shitty traffic. <laughs> yeah, that's you're what like, we knew. We were just Phoenix. cruising. I'm like, uh, exit. We're gonna. That's yeah. Like, exit. I was like, oh shit! Oh, fucking gonna end up in Goodyear. <laughs> yeah. Before <laughs> we knew the it, the whole city would be in a Vondelay. Hell. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was crazy. Was so yeah, I, I was so we were home, and then we, so we decided to stop by, grab a couple beers at this new oh. new joint that um, we came across, and yeah. man, it was a fucking fun time. Yeah, that, though it was it was good that stuff. Was really there good. Too. That was a good day. Good yeah, show. I was exhausted that night, <laughs> um, but for sure. Still couldn't sleep though. Still couldn't sleep. Yeah, still couldn't Sorry. sleep. Um, my parents were so nice that. Um, I talked to them every, uh, usually every Tuesday. Last week I talked to them and uh, let them know that I was going to be visiting my, you know, visiting Brad because they, they know Brad. Mm -hmm. And um, all of a sudden, I can't remember what day it was that I checked the mail and there is my mom or both my parents sending $25 to Brad. Yeah. So that was very, very sweet of it them. It was last Monday because I was here. Was it last Monday? It, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was all right. That's yeah. right. So that was fucking awesome for them to do that. Yeah. I told Brad he was very grateful for that as well. Um, now you can get that TV since you spent the money you gave him for the TV. On yeah, on his shoes. shoes. Yeah, on his shoes because he blew out a shoe, he said. Are they nice shoes? Uh, I don't know. I should have yeah. asked him, I guess. Oh, it's, probably, it's, they're probably just sandals or something. Wear shirt. like Crocs or something. Yeah. <laughs> but he holds my, you, he holds my mom fucking high, you know, like that's a... You know that's a big thing for his for for him is is my mom is a, a a person he definitely holds extremely high. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of my friends do actually. Yeah. Uh, both my parents really. So, it was uh it was it was good that he was very appreciated over that. I knew he would be. But respect. Respect for sure, for sure. Um, I, I get why they don't let you do it, but it'd be nice if you could bring some fucking beans in there or some shit. But I mean, you could bring a pot brownie if they let you bring food in, you know, that's why. You, yeah, they absolutely but, can't do it. But it's just like, man, that'd be cool if you could just like, hey, man, my mom made you some beans. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> fucking fucking have a heart attack. awesome, dude. But yeah, <laughs> I, I can understand that, too. Also, though, you know, bringing a, a fucking magazine like yeah. I just. Yeah, I guess maybe you can make a sheet of a magazine and to acid i suppose but yeah. i just can't imagine that you you know you put it in the little detector right. i guess like i guess what they like we were saying is the line is you know 10 feet it, the line is here but they want to stay 20 feet behind the line so they just basically oh yeah nothing yeah. like it, i mean it's insane that you you can't take anything yeah i mean i couldn't even if i wanted to i couldn't even take a a fucking baseball card or something you know right so really that that always sucks and uh, and i was kind of you know talking to him about uh, how the hell they get magazines and shit because yeah. it'd be nice to send him some stuff you know yeah. it'd be interesting though if you could bring your phone in there 
Like, yeah, dude. Like you, but it'd be funny though. Like you walk in there. And half the people there to visit their inmate friend are just looking at their phone. Oh, they'd be, they, they probably would be. <laughs> like, hey, you're across from somebody you haven't fucking seen in forever. What are you fucking doing, you moop? <laughs> fucking looking at their phone. I'm, oh, and just, taking a selfie. One second, I'm going to check my email real quick. I was expecting something <laughs> from my boss today. And then tell me that story that happened 10 years ago that I haven't heard because I haven't fucking seen you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, they don't, yeah, that's probably exactly what would fucking happen on yeah. some cases. Like they say they're going to allow you at some point possibly to make phone calls on the planes but you know you can use your cell on the plane because oh really it really doesn't do anything but yeah you know, but so you can so they talked about like oh we could maybe people could use their phones on a plane like you imagine that fucking some asshole behind you they do that sometimes when you're like oh, before you're dude, you never, I can't do you know, that. they already told you to put your phone away three times and this guy's wrapping up a business call because he's so fucking important yeah like, i know. You just want to lean over hey if you were that important you wouldn't be sitting behind me in coach you fucking asshole <laughs> hang up the phone yeah there's a couple Jesus. people that do that to fucking gym sometimes and oh you're yeah just, and you're just like get out of here man yep. then, then go have your conversation elsewhere yep. nobody gives a shit what you're doing or who you are as far as trying to be born all you're doing is annoying motherfucker <laughs> exactly and just please ask me to spot you so i could Bring that bar and like, drop that forty-five pound yeah, weight. Fucking scalp that fucking, fucking head. head. Yes, yeah, oh, that's oh. uh, what oh. Brad saw in prison. So oh. I know that's. I, I didn't need to see that. Oh man! Can we I, put that in an episode of the gym. Uh, <laughs> Probably not that kind of show, huh? We can make it more playful, right? Couldn't we? <laughs> yeah. Like maybe the weight drops and it flips the dummy over. Or, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. We could figure something out. <laughs> Hit the dummy, and then the dummy just turns red. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Stuffing all over. Damn. Yeah, I mean, Brad told me some crazy shit. I mean, oh. the other episode already had it. I mean, but he was just telling me, like, he's like, there is, there are stories, man. He's like, I have never told you that are so crazy, you know. Um... I just can't imagine what he's seen and, and yeah. what goes on. I, I you know, I, I seriously, I find it, I find it fucking fascinating. I mean, I don't want to fucking go there for, by any means, but for sure. But <laughs> maybe for a day. Yeah, no, but no. like I said, I would love to do a podcast. I just don't know. I don't know how the fuck that even yeah. go about. I didn't even get a chance to ask, and I don't even know who to ask there. I guess. Yeah. I mean, podcast communications officer. No. Yeah, maybe the communications <laughs> the officer. The media officer. <laughs> But you think, I mean, you might have to do it in a different area. But, you would have you know, to. Like, if you just did it in an area that had, like, you know, a little bit of glass, but you could put the microphone near the glass and have two things going. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. Like, there's probably a way how when they do the documentaries where they have the, the area, maybe, yeah. maybe like where they, like, attorneys talk to them, basically. Right. Possibly somewhere yeah. around those lines. I'm chained up for that, probably. Yeah. Probably wouldn't let them roam free for that. Well, or you could just go to law school, get your degree. Represent him and then find a way to get in. Oh, yeah, sure. I could just contact my buddy's staff. <laughs> I mean, how long would that take, really? Yeah, probably not as long as getting on the approved well, list. <laughs> yeah, probably not. You probably could have had that two years faster than waiting for them to no, approve no, your fucking paperwork. List. Yeah. God, no shit. <laughs> oh, and yeah. Fuck, and he's going to be out by the time I get this shit approved. Yeah. <laughs> And that, and I don't remember again. I don't remember what the hell I said on episode on the last episode because again we were fucking going crazy. But you know, as I mentioned, Brad said that they're going to be sending all the prisoners from here, from Nevada, yeah. back to Nevada, and they'll all be back home by November. And they're gonna and they're going to start shipping them out starting I think June or something, yeah. or June or July. And of course, he doesn't know which one he will be on. No. So that means that I have to tried to go visit him as much as I can because they're going to ship him back off to yeah. to uh, to Nevada. And, and the crazy part is, again, because yeah, I doubt that my approved goes f gets transferred over there. Right. But, you know, my parents only live 45 minutes away from that prison. That's true. But, again, the last time that I tried to go over there, I mean, you want to talk about unhelpful motherfuckers, mm. man. You know, it was crazy, and and he even said that they're over there. They're worse. He said that they, the, the Nevada uh, staff has gotten fucking complaints on them because they're just fucking they're awful. You know, he even said in Ely there that the guards um, 
you know, have a lot of respect for the prisoners mm. to, to, you know, of course, because to a point. But, you know, he said when he first touched down here in, in Desert Springs or in, in Vegas, he said uh, he went down there um, and he touched he touched down and the guard was I forgot what the guard said to him. Um, I can't remember what exactly it was, but it was the guard and then it was the um, I don't know, it was like a social person, whatever. I don't know. And he said something. She, he, I can't remember what he said. And then Brad's like, uh, Brad's like, um, you talk to me like that again, we're gonna have a problem, and we're not, and we're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> and and they're like, excuse Jeez. me. And he goes, you heard me. You, this happens again. We're we're gonna have a bad day. And he goes, and yeah, they threw me in the hole for three days. He's like, but I don't give a shit. It doesn't yeah. matter. But they also threw him in the hole because they didn't know what he was going to do. They didn't know what he was capable of because they knew the type of clout that he had from Ely. Yeah. Right? yeah. So His that reputation he's got there here. before he did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> so that that was the, the one thing that he says, you know, over there in Ely, they, they respect certain right. things of those prisoners, yeah. you know. Yeah. So um, I hope that it's not till later and it kind of sucks because I mean shit we've been trying to get approved for so long and yeah. finally get approved and now yeah. I get fucking I know at the least you three found months out you were approved and you were there within two weekends yeah I mean that's fast and that was because we were we were helping Kyle shoot a yeah, video yeah we would yeah, no we right. probably would have shot up there yeah. last weekend you're right you're right we had something on the agenda for Saturday yeah yeah yeah, absolutely, we would have. So, uh, but that's, I mean, that's you couldn't have gotten there any faster. No, d- definitely not. I mean, that was that was planned. Yeah, what are the weekday um, visiting hours? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, I just think it's, I think it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I can't remember. It might, it might be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday. Mm. There might be more. I'd have yeah, to check the, the, the list week. again. I know Tuesday Close. is is for what, what what was said in there was for video uh, type of people for segregation because I remember we were laughing about it in the, oh. on the uh, last episode. So it's yeah. for the segregated people, and I think it's <laughs> I, and I think right. it's only for <laughs> video like wow. chat. Yeah. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know. You have to go all the way up there to just do the video chat. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking kidding me. <laughs> Can I just do it with my fucking yeah, do you letter? guys know that remember, there's like that internet? Like, oh, fuck. Yeah, you guys know that there's like Skype. You guys ever heard of Skype and yeah. shit like that? Fuck. Yeah, I, you know, who knows? I might be wrong, but that's what it sounded like to me. Man, it, it is crazy. Just just crazy stuff. I, I, hope, I hope maybe I can at least look into the podcasting thing with him. But yeah. again... For me, just to get visitation to get there, I just couldn't imagine. Right, the process for the next step. Yeah, would. But if anywhere yeah. will help you, it'd be this place. Apparently, it's That's true. What it sounds like it's true. They seem a little bit more human. Yeah, I guess in a sense. Yeah, because you know what, and maybe you'll find out some shit about media, so we can get media passes to fucking Comic Con nice. and shit. That'd be true. Like, you know, we should just find out how to be. You know, get more media shit, anyways. Yeah, as my buddy and I, Dan, used to do. And we didn't do it on purpose. We got, we, we got into a lot of places for free. Like, uh, we got into a, a couple, like, cons stuff for free. We, 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 were, we were just joking, but we had cameras, right? We yeah. just had cameras around our fucking necks just because we're out to take shots of cosplay or whatever. Yeah. And and um, we like, yeah, what's... Oh, and we just walk in, and they just, they just let us go in. And we're not trying... We're just... Most of the time, we didn't realize that that was the entrance. So we just <laughs> right. like walk in, right. <laughs> you know, not realizing it. It's like we're trying to sneak in. I mean, we're just like, uh, just hey, there's forward. something. Let's go over there. And we just <laughs> walk in. And all of a sudden, we're looking around like, oh, shit, I think. Yeah, yeah I, think I think we're in. I think we got in for free. <laughs> uh, so then the running <laughs> joke after that, we were taught, we were saying is anytime we'd go, we'd just be like, we should just go up to the door and go like, hmm, hold up the camera. So that way we could just walk through because <laughs> yeah. that's what it seemed like. It, yeah. it seemed like as soon as they it's saw like the camera pass. and yeah. everything that we had, yep. they were they were almost oh, thinking, oh, it must be media guys, yeah, media people Fuck or some it. shit like that. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's it was fucking hysterical. So we it was always that became a little bit of a running joke. <laughs> <laughs> we do that shit to my wife because she hates it. My kid and I will be sitting there at dinner. And I'm like, Dine and Dash. 
I could be like, yeah, dying. <laughs> like, all right, I gotta use the restroom. And she'll be like, me too, mom. You're your last one. And then we'll just like get up and leave. And she'll be like, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna pay. <laughs> or we'll wait for her to get up. And then we'll be like, as soon as she gets up, she can still hear us. We're like, should we go? Should we just leave? Yeah, let's leave. Let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, the old dine and dash. <laughs> I did quite a few of those back in the day. Yeah, that was that was fucking funny <laughs> shit, man. There was a dude that got beat up for doing that. By the store owner? No, by the um, woman's uh, son. Because... <laughs> and it, I'm trying to think. I don't know if he had or not, but... It was a place actually where Brad's mom uh, used to work. At this point, she wasn't... I don't think she was working there anymore. Or maybe she was. But so anyway. strip club? <laughs> um, it was the Velvet Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we were... Been there. We, we, were at the, we were at the park. We, we always used to hang out at this park. Actually, we used to kind of meet up. Back when we used to meet up at this park to go, hey, where's the party and shit like that? Because, yeah, we didn't have fucking cell phones back then, right? Right. So we had a meet up fucking joint. We met up there, and but we weren't meeting up there for a party. We were just meeting there, and we were just kind of kicking back, whatever. Yeah, and then some fucking shit broke out, and some dude's like, to another per, to another dude is like, hey, man, you fucking walked out on, on your fucking bill at so-and-so. My mom had, because I guess a waitress has to pick, pay up, pick up the oh, tab. Oh, shit. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, what, that's, that's from what I understand. And so he's like, you left my mom with the fucking bill and shit like that, and... And um, and he had another buddy of his there too. There was just a group of us, but they started kind of getting an argument. And this dude, the the, the one guy that supposedly left the, or did the dining dash, started running towards the one dude, and he just got fucking popped i mean he he's like it's like Stop hey i'm gonna hold trap. this fist out here and you run into it <laughs> but, but that's kind of ah! he's like oh and then wham he just gets oh, fucking black i mean you know with that momentum he gets picked yeah. off of his feet he yeah just pick him up and just fucking oh god yeah and then there's this other dude came up and he's like what the fuck you know and and this guy i'm not gonna say either anybody's name but this yeah. guy at, at this point we all kind of looked at him as a little bit of a tough dude you know we kind of knew him a yeah. little bit more but you know, he came up and he's like, man, what the fuck? You know what's going on? And then this other dude, the same dude that blasted that one kid, then blasted this other dude like three times, Jesus. dropped him and made him cry. <laughs> <laughs> she knocks one guy out and then makes the tough guy cry. Yeah, and then makes a tough guy cry. So oh my God. it was fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. Can fucking... you write that scene out so we can go shoot it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. Yeah, it was it was fucking nuts, man. But oh, that's funny. Those those times back then, just insane. But I definitely did my dining dashes back in the day. <laughs> I mean, shit, dude's got to eat up poor as a motherfucker. Fuck. Yeah. Oh man. Did you know we're from Perump. <laughs> Do you think we were gonna pay? We're from Perump. <laughs> Yeah, pretty fucking crazy <laughs> shit, man. But yeah, it was it was it was cool stuff over the weekend. It was a lot to take in. Um man. Yeah. Man. And shit, you always remember your first. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. That ain't no shit. <laughs> yeah, it was it was definitely <clears throat> it was another level going over there. Well, I wouldn't recommend going and like spending the night on a Saturday so you can see him again on Sunday that just wouldn't be worth it <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking about staying the night in the oh hotel God, there's gotta be a hotel Eloy. there right <laughs> well they, when we were when we were getting our badges there was this lady there was, like, there was there was a group of people there was probably like 10 of them and and one lady was she traveled 200 miles so I don't know where she was she, I heard her I overheard her she's like yeah it's like 200 miles for us to get or for me to come, get here and they're like oh my god you're driving back and she's like um She's like, no, no, we got a hotel, and then and then the lady's like, you got a hotel? And she goes, yeah. She goes, they have hotels in Eloy, <laughs> <laughs> and she was dead serious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think they do because it doesn't seem like uh, it. Uh -uh. That fucking no. place is we so saw the, small. We saw the whole town. It was it was nothing. Yeah, it was but about a mile. Where they long. made us exit where that Culver's and shit is. There's probably something right there. Yeah, I would imagine that there is because that's that's, that's, that's big north. traffic. There. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. the I-10 going through there. Yeah. 
And then you're headed more. Is it Coolidge that's right there? Or yeah, you got else? Coolidge and Florence. Florence. Yeah, so they might yeah. have stayed somewhere there. <laughs> yeah, I would think so because because remember then that road right there can also take you to uh, Bisbee and take you to fucking oh, yeah. Cali. Yeah. So you go to Tucson and shit like that, you know. Yeah. I was laughing because when we were going one time, I was I was going with my, with my buddy Dan and we were heading out to. Um, Going towards uh, Tucson area, right? Okay. Or going towards Tucson. So we are on, you know, the I-10. And you see, like, so you have the Renaissance Festival. You ever been out there? Yep. Okay, so nice. it's that area, right? So we're past the Renaissance Festival and you're going. And then you have, an, uh, finally you come into, a, um, an, I guess you could say, a, uh, an exit where you basically have, you know, you still you keep going this way, you'll go to Tucson and Globe and all that shit. You go this way, you'll basically wrap back around and go to, you know, Casa Grande and all yeah, that yeah. shit. Yeah, Okay. And Coolidge and all that stuff. So we're going. Okay, so the Renaissance Festival, it's 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 away for, a ways from here, but oh, yeah, yeah. nonetheless, it's just on the outskirts of Phoenix, right? Yeah. And so we're <laughs> we're going, and it says that the fucking sign says Tucson that way. <laughs> And you know whatever says that way, and my buddy's like Tucson. He's like, so is Tucson just right there? <laughs> and I was like, uh-huh. no. I was like, no man, that's the fucking exit to go to Tucson. Yeah. Tucson is still another goddamn hour away. Yeah. You ever been on like we go on the other freeway and it says Los Angeles that way? Right, doesn't it's not because Los, Los Angeles is right on the other right side around of that curve. Phoenix. Is it? Is LA right there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's uh, right there. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. I, I would have just said, well, take a left. Let's find out. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> How much gas you got? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, no, keep going. I think Tucson's right here somewhere. Yeah. I think it's got. You look You look to your left. I'll look to my right. We'll see if we can. <laughs> one of us can spot it. <laughs> Did we miss it? Did we drive through it? It's been like 10 minutes already. Oh, God. You know, this is completely off base, but that Alliance football thing. Yeah, I was only curious because I was gonna I was gonna ask you about it while we were before we started podcasting. Yeah, we are still podcasting. <laughs> I really hope so. Right? Oh, yeah. Um, oh no, yeah. But so, and this is just quick up base, just because I thought it'd be interesting. And I don't know, they were talking about the Phoenix football team being mm-hmm. called the Hot Shots or some shit. But people are like. They, uh, they have no idea what the hell the hot shots mean. And this, do you know what, what they're talking about? Like, it's supposed to be was, something bad. All I know, it just makes me think of that fucking movie, movie with Charlie with Sheen, Charlie Sheen. That's back all in the day. Yeah, I don't know. But they, I mean, like, they were just a bunch of clowns. It was like, I mean, they made, named an NHL team the Mighty Ducks. And then they changed yeah. it to just the Ducks. But the, 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 the Ducks, yeah. Do they mean like that? Like, it's just a bad... A shitty team, or do they mean it mean hot shots mean something like? No, like it's supposed to be something offensive. That's, I mean, that's what nope. it seemed like they were yeah, talking no, about. No, never. Hmm. I don't know anything about that? Because I even heard like Holmberg and them talking about like, yeah, they didn't think all the, they didn't think that one all the way through, and they're talking about like <laughs> hot shots. Like, oh yeah, that's not good. But I don't know what the fuck it means. It'd be a hot shot to the face. Yeah, maybe it's a hot shot to the face. <laughs> I was. I don't know. I was uh, curious. I mean, I can I can make it mean something that it's not supposed to mean but, I could but there's too. nothing that like you know that it, oh yeah yeah because of this yeah I even googled it uh, I haven't found it but I mean I even googled and that's hot shot injection <laughs> like a hot beef injection Petro explained that hot shots are an assassination technique in which a person intentionally injects a person with enough drugs to kill them mm. oh interesting maybe that's what they were talking the about hot shots the hot shots yeah because that's the, other the movie shit. yeah which is just you know yeah, so I don't know. Okay, they say Charlie it's offensive. Maybe, maybe that, that kind of makes a little sense now. The hot shots, but I don't. I can't imagine that's really that common. Is no, it? I never I, even yeah, heard I of can't that. think of any term that would make me go, "Oh shit!" They need them the hot shots, dumbasses. Can I spray hot shot on my bed? Hot shot bed bug and flea killer aerosol spray works bet. Okay. Yeah, don't spray it on your crotch though. It's not good for crabs. Oh man, for crabs though, wouldn't it? If you have yeah, crabs, it's a little strong spray. though. What is it? It'll make your little red guy even littler and even redder. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, their logo is fireman stuff, it looks like. Ooh. Hot shots. I can't wait for their calendar. (laughs) 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 Team calendar is just a bunch of fucking firemen topless. Mm. Hot shot firefighters. Can we sponsor that? (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Brought to you by Juan and Joe Pike. Oh, shit. Craig Gas texted me. Oh, nice. That's fucking funny. I sent him a fucking um, a thing yesterday. Oh, um, did you? Yeah. Uh, 
uh, King of Queens episode. Oh, was he on it? He was on it, so you just uh, yeah, you were uh, watching it, and he, oh, look at that fucker! Hey, hey, look, he's in my living room again. Uh, <laughs> again? Oh, let me put a mic up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's fucking oh, yeah. just funny shit. Just pop down while you were sitting here, huh? Yeah, he's a, there he is. No, I mean the while you were sitting there, the show came up, huh? I got it recorded. Ah. Bye. Look at that. Ha, ah, that's awesome. <laughs> IPS, baby. Came on this morning. Hysterical. <laughs> so I fucking sent it to him. <laughs> that's great. Mm, that's cool that he fucking texted back. Holy Fuck shit. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I was a name drop. Actually, it was just by complete accident. Name drop. Name drop. It's worth it. Um, what we'll the hashtag him on this pod, on this episode too? <laughs> Craig Gas makes an, an appearance <laughs> through my iPhone. <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> this is not clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> Craig uh, stops by the studio uh, <laughs> via phone <laughs> as I play a video. Let me make an impersonation of Craig. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, good shit today. We are writing a couple things as well. Where yeah. Are we right now. <laughs> now is it still recording? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I hope. Oh, uh, um, but yeah, that's good shit, man. It, you know, give us another quick second to catch up on it while it's still all fresh in your head. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Quite the experience. I know that I missed a few things because there was so much going on, but next time I'm able to go visit him yeah probably a couple more things uh there's definitely a few things that I will never say <laughs> on the podcast on the podcast I, I might not even repeat ever I yeah it, no exactly <laughs> it's very true I did tell Brad though first of all I asked him if he knew what a podcast was <laughs> um and he said yeah I know what a podcast is because you know I did say like when he said something about the internet about oh about when he was talking about the 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 affiliation group that he's with mm. and then he said that they have this certain image on uh you know on there and he goes if you type in on the internet you'll find it and i said you know what the internet is <laughs> and he's like fuck you jose <laughs> yeah um but um but yeah he uh what the hell was i saying he uh internet before that da, da, da. play back the tape yeah rewind um <laughs> Yeah. I thought that's where you were going. I didn't know there was more. No, there was something else right before that. <laughs> the hell was it? I wasn't listening. Shit. <laughs> anyways, whatever. Uh, Cut. So anyways, so yeah, we, we, we should say right Cut. there is we should probably... <laughs> oh, yeah. I wasn't going to be back. saying anything. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Yeah. I won't say some of the shit he said. I, oh, because oh, yeah. I was telling him, you know what a podcast is. He said, yeah. So I did tell him that we were, we were doing a podcast. I said, me and my buddy, uh, Baden are doing a podcast and I told them what the podcast is about I said it's letters from B-Rad mm -hmm. told them that it was uh, all about joking and, and more on the comical side of things mm -hmm. and he's like oh like a discussion I said yeah and we tell stories and stuff like that but I told him that of course I don't say anything As a matter of fact we should probably beep out the prison from Vegas maybe <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it really matters though because they don't know his last name but anyways um, but I just told them that we're you know we don't want to put him in any type of jeopardy or implications oh, yeah. or nope. anything like that so there are things you know that we don't say there are things that Baden has bleeped yep. out for us I told him that's what we do we don't say any names we don't say anything that could trace back to him yeah, because, we're not going to put anything on public record yeah this is not this is not about talking about what has happened as far as that goes I mean we we already went over that that first episode yep. this is just discussions about his letters and and the stories and how funny it is yeah talking shit back and forth and him being stuck back in 94 yeah and back in 94 the time machine that's what i was gonna say and yeah you said he even acknowledged that dude yeah. it is a time machine i told him that yeah. too. i said dude you're you're in a time machine he's like yeah i am i'm in a time machine man so that was the thing is is that you know we try not to give names of anyone or anybody it doesn't matter whether it's brad's group or even our people yeah you know you guys know fresh because that doesn't matter but no. other than that we don't say nothing about anybody else because there's no reason for it nope. but uh, anyways Agreed. there are some things that I told Baden 
uh, once we stopped recording the podcast <laughs> that we're we're pretty crazy things. He, he said off the record, so off the record. I can't, can't record them anymore. Yeah, that's right. Because then I'll have to tell Brad. What do you mean this story? And then Brad will have to tell his people, <laughs> and then it'll be the Joe podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and you're listening to the Joe Podcast and on JoeComedy.com. JoeComedy.com. Check out Joe Studios on YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah, Juan hey, is M I A. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. I did. Yeah. Um, By the way, that reminds me. I should ask his wife if she's gonna use all that footage he has. Or if- <laughs> She'll give me that hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I got some shit on there, I could use. Uh, a pixelated face on everything. Yeah, a little. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I absolutely. It's a little, or just a little black. Doesn't the black bar over the uh, eyes oh, yeah, supposed yeah. to work nowadays? Oh, yeah, I think? Yeah. that's good enough. Yeah, because that works great. You no never know who it is. is. Yeah. All you do is cover the eyes up. You're done. That's it. Yeah. Nobody else. <laughs> I mean, that's how, I mean, people should go rock banks with just a fucking uh, <laughs> black bar across well, their eyes. it works for, like, the Incredibles and stuff. Like I guess the, it does. Like, you know, Batman back in the day. Like, oh, yeah, with the one that, well, well, that was Robin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman had at least the yeah, entire. This, the entire nose and everything covered. Yeah, but yeah. all those little hero things, like, oh, my God, who is that? He took his glasses off. It can't be Clark Kent anymore. Well, no, like, but then also Batman Jesus. would be like, hey, I'm not wearing any <laughs> hockey pants. <laughs> I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> Got it. Fucking voice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did tell you, um, real quick, I did tell you after we shut it off, I did tell you about my... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My, sh- my fun at the Please at the share park. your Eloy experience. My Eloy experience. Well, I told That's you right. a little bit of it on this one where I went to... Dropped you off, went and got a water and some sunflower seeds, and I saw this cool train going by, and I was thinking stock footage because there wasn't a lot around to shoot or anything. I'm like, I could do some stock footage. That would kill some time and maybe do a little writing. Mm-hmm. So I pull around the park area, and I'm like, I'm just going to go out with my notebook and, you know, my journal and, and like, my uh, – and the sunflower seeds in the water and just kind of see what this area is like. <laughs> and immediately just started taking notes on all the weird people around me, you know, the 25-year-old guy that was, like, riding a wheelie on a BMX bike for, like, an entire city Man, block. he must – just oh my have, god! He that must is, be beating chicks off of him. Oh man. my god! Yeah, they were all around him. And then of course <laughs> he's got his his uh, little Mexican music playing out of a tiny speaker on his oh. bike. So it's like like all the way down the thing as he's pedaling away. I was like, like wow, Holy he must have a big dick. Man. <laughs> That's all I could think. God man! And then like circus. Some guy on the other side th- on the other side had a dirt bike, and so he's revving the engine and he's just tooling around, just this wee, you know, little tiny dirt bike thing. And then it'd be quiet for a while, and all of a sudden you hear it go like, brr, 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 kind of take off, and he'd go like down the other side. And I never saw him. And then all of a sudden, I catch a glimpse of him, like, wee, go cruising by somewhere else. Like, fuck it. What a way to fill your Saturday, man. That guy's probably like, oh, man. <laughs> so that, fucking Oh, heavy. man. I was like driving my uh, dirt bike for like an hour. That was good. But so I'm sitting out there, and I'm like, I didn't want to bring the camera and all the gear out right away because I just want to kind of see what was going on. Well, yeah. Plus, you don't want to get fucking jacked. Yeah, I mean, there was yeah, there was a family doing a barbecue. They seemed pretty nice, but there was a bunch of dudes hanging around drinking beer and smoking a you know smoking a oney. And I'm like, ah, it seems pretty legit. So it sounds like a lot of successful people there. Pretty calm and quiet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And like as I'm like, I'm gonna go grab the camera and I'm just gonna. I was thinking about taking the truck just down where the tracks were and trying to see if that train would come by again because it just fucking looked cool like that old shitty town with that just the train just rolling yeah it was so much cool texture and like an open space between the road and the train tracks was like almost a block and a half so it was Mm. it's just empty you know so it'd be kind of cool like way off in the distance almost it looked like and uh, right when I did that this truck pulls up and it's this old Chevy with uh, like maybe a 1970 something Chevy truck pulls up and they got this hood ornament on it that's this giant fucking Pegasus, you know, stallion with wings. <laughs> and I was like, look, and so I'm just looking like, Jesus. And they pull up, and they're kind of looking out the out the window at me, and then they're looking at the other family that was barbecuing, and then they're, like, really, like, looking at me. I was like, what the fuck? But I'm just sitting there doing my thing. I'm just writing, and they, they walk. They get out of their truck, and they're walking like they're walking towards the party, but they keep looking back at me over their shoulder, and I'm like, whatever. And finally, the guy goes... Do you mind if we join you for a cigarette? I'm like, I'm not smoking. He's like, well, we're just going to have a cigarette. I'm like, well, I mean, whatever, have a cigarette. I don't care. And so he lights his cigarette and he just starts talking to me. And then, like, he wants to have a full blown conversation. Like, did you say I'm full like, blown? Dude, full blown, yeah. Oh, and the best part, he looks like Gene Simmons. 
from, from Kish. Kish. Like he's got the complete like frizzy hair that he dyed like jet oh, black. Oh fuck! Number he's nine. using black number yeah. nine. Yeah, and like bald at the top, but it was like slicked back into like this crazy fro. Like it was, it was exactly like Gene Simmons' hair. Wow. And stubble and stuff, but he was really feminine the way he was talking and everything else. And I'm like, oh, what the hell. So it's the other KISS member. So it's, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so by now I've already folded my, my journal shut and put the little rubber band around it, sealed my sunflower seeds, and I'm like, like I'm not going to hang out with you guys. i got better shit to do, even in Eloy, than hang out with you guys. <laughs> but before I even get up, he starts. he's like, I bet you haven't met any 62-year-old virgins before, have you? I'm like, what? He goes, I'm a 62-year-old virgin. Well, with women anyways. I'm like, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I got somewhere I got to be. Holy. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know, you might want to go <laughs> yeah. over there because yeah. you'll have plenty of <laughs> penetration. Oh, my God. He's like, where did you park? I'm like, so I what pointed the-, the opposite direction. I'm like, oh, over there. Why? Like, what do you... You're not from around here, are you? And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, we thought you looked like uh, Eduardo's, you know, friend. Remember Eduardo, your friend? And Remember when we were talking about that? And I'm like, this Holy is just getting weird. He's like, shit. he's like, are you holding? Do you have? I just, I'm just a weed smoker. I don't smoke anything else. But are you holding? I'm like, no, I don't have any weed on me. Like, I'm just fucking sitting at the park. Like, and then I'm like, in my head though, because the whole time, anyways, I'm sitting there like, I'm a dude by myself at a park sitting on a bench. So this is kind of weird, anyways. You know, right? <laughs> and I'm the weirdo because like, I'm sitting at a playground. You know, yeah, like, <laughs> that looks like a gay guy to me <laughs> with weed. Yeah. Yeah, oh, there's a homo with weed. Yeah. Look at him, he even showered today. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got to be gay. <laughs> He's clean. He's clean. Yeah. Oh, it's just so funny. 62 year old virgin. Wow. Oh, dude. Wow. Like, like, that's, that's, it. I'm like, first yeah. of all, you're like, is that your pickup line? <laughs> yeah. Can you do better? <laughs> oh, I'm just telling you. I'm like, oh. Hey, man, you guys do whatever you want. Fill your Saturday any way you yeah. want. I'm out of here. Yeah, go got fuck better, him then. Yeah, I got better things to do, like drive over to a prison. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you you were you wish you yeah. were doing that. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit, you almost became a Dateline episode. I know. I was like, hey, can you push up my stool? <laughs> <laughs> you should have you know, you said, like, hey, you know that guy that rides a BMX with a little music <laughs> or stuff? You might want to go talk to him. Yeah. You might want to, and who knows, maybe... Uh, Maybe you could train for that Pegasus. Maybe you could oh, put that fucking Pegasus God, on think, his goddamn handlebars. I think it was crazy. It was cool looking almost. You know, I mean, the front end was all smashed like he rode into something, and it wasn't it was in terrible shape, but it was one of those things where you're just like, that truck fits this area so yeah. perfectly. Like, that. that's exactly what should be parked there. How fucking weird, though. Like, yeah. uh, yeah, 62 bitch, you don't make 62-year-old virgin, huh? Well, like, I don't really seek them out either. Yeah, that's a hell of a conversation uh, starter. Yeah. Uh, n- n- see. N- n- nor nor do I care. How long will he s- sit there in the bench if I if I open with this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a, yeah, right. Like a litmus test. Like so. Anyways, I got shit to do. I think it's time to close. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Light cigarette. Take one drag. Close. That's my that's my uh, scenario. Uh. And I was laughing before that because like I was I was texting my wife before they showed up because the the family that was grilling you know they like kept putting like uh, tons of fucking. Uh, a fire starter on the coal. Oh, like, just like, shit. and then they throw a match and it would just burn yeah. like crazy. And then, and would then go fucking up. die. And then they fucking do it again. Mm-hmm. And like, they're just trying to get that thing going. And then this girl, like, it looked like a, like a girlfriend, boyfriend or something. She starts walking away. And then the guy's like waving like, Oh yeah, I'm coming too. Yeah. I'll come like, you know, so I could just imagine the conversation. Like, she's like, Oh, let's go to the store. He's like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to bring this beer with me. And then climbs in the driver's seat. <laughs> like, <laughs> just open beer. And I'm like, I totally remember those days. Oh, 100%. But he's like right in the only part of town they have. You know, it's not like he's like at the park in a neighborhood. He's right there. We're like, you know, what, maybe like a half mile from the fucking 10. You know, we're not in the middle of the city. Like, but in the same time, this is Christ. now. I mean, yeah, that, it's back in the late 90s or something, yeah. it's a whole different story. Yeah. But. He's just drinking his beer, gets in the driver's seat, drives away. I was like, fucking Christ, And he man. gets busted and gets pissed off at the cops. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm sure he why was. Why are you pissed? Yeah. Why? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm just having one beer. You know, there's people out there committing actual while crimes. You're, while you're fucking driving, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, it was fucking, yeah, so... Yeah, I wouldn't spend the night there if you ever decide to do a Saturday, Sunday. Just drive home in between. I'll just be like fucking no <laughs> country for old men. That's what it fucking would oh, seem yeah. like, you yep. know? Yep. Yeah, that is It that felt is like a border crazy. town there. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it is It is. It is definitely 
That's a different place. Uh, Eloy. I mean, all that, all those little fucking places, you know. I mean, I, I guess at least, like, you know, Bisbee has some awesome textures and some cool shit. Yeah, but. some old cool shit. Yeah. But, I mean, it I guess It has more of a historic town feel to it, though, right? Not just... Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, you know, here's the thing, too, is that that Coolidge and Florence and all that, I mean, th that's all prison shit. I mean, Florence yeah. has been there for fucking years. And I think, and, and, and that's probably why Eloy is still around, because they probably got paid a lot of fucking money to get yeah. a, a prison built there. Sure. You know? And sure. that thing was fucking massive, yeah, dude. Yeah, that thing was huge, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever look up Phoenix Mart by any chance what the hell that was? I did, but I, I couldn't figure it out. There's like some kind of riddle to it because it kept talking about, so that all I could figure out was that Phoenix Mart was being built in Eloy. There are several lawsuits where they're trying to sue um, the owners or something. The shit. owners, yeah, and the investors and all that. Um, the city of Eloy is trying to sue, I think, to get some money back. The contractors lost their asses on it. But Phoenix Mart is open in Casa Grande. Casa Grande. Oh. And not even as big, like just some little tiny like Phoenix Mart. And it's supposed to be this like Mart of international shopping where like Really? Basically like a really shitty China trading post, those fucking online right. things. Right. Just garbage stuff like a flea market. An Airbnb, but <laughs> yeah. brick and mortar. <laughs> yeah, but brick and mortar, yeah. Just like all the weird shit there. I like, mean not Airbnb, oh, sorry, yeah. Um Oriental Trading? No, no, no. Or, well, is it that racist? Oh, Craig's. <laughs> no, that's no. What, no, that's what my friend and I call it. We're both married to Asians. <laughs> Are you in no training? Yeah. No, the other one, uh, Alibaba. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alibaba. Yeah. Yep. Brick and mortar Alibaba. Yep, that's basically what it seemed like it was going to be, and they were going to have food, and one of them said a five-star resort. I just started laughing. But then, it, again, that whole project's just gone, and there's people suing the shit out of each other. and So know, it's abandoned, then. It's abandoned, yeah. Uh, we should try to fucking take a drive over yeah, there and check this shit out. Cool. That thing so was fucking massive. Big. I think I said 1.2 million square feet. It was about that size. That thing Fuck. was... 1.2 million square... Holy shit, that is gigantic. <laughs> that is fucking massive. I'm surprised that it's fucking like, Amazon's not jumping on that yeah, shit. Yeah, well, when I, what I don't get... Yeah, exactly. They have so much shit out here. But what I don't get is, like... Like, let's say they have this idea for this whole thing. And even if they get all the funding, like, why wouldn't you just build it a quarter of the size with plans to add on? Like, why would you make yeah, right. the whole fucking skeleton of this thing right. and get just ass deep in debt just to never fucking That's open true. it? I never understand. How much money do we got? Shit. $500 million. Yeah. Okay, let's build the biggest building possible. This yeah. one's going to cost $450 million. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Let's put it all yeah. in there. Let's not put any. Let's not set any money aside for expansion or anything later. Like they could have fucking shit. opened that shit up. I mean, the only thing they had done were the goddamn signs. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix Mart, true. like two and huge and Phoenix this, Mart signs. And luckily, they had those up because we would have never <laughs> known what the hell it was. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like the size of a billboard carved out of brick and shit. That was fucking crazy. Yeah, but I, it's just I never seen a building a that fucking big. Before. No, I haven't either. It's massive. I told my wife because when we drove out to. Um, San Diego, we always go the same way, and we end up driving by the Skechers warehouse. That's oh, like blocks yeah, and blocks yeah, and blocks. Yeah, I amazing. go, it was bigger than the fucking Skechers warehouse. Like, she's like, no way. I'm oh. like, it was fucking huge. Like, probably longer and then at least three times wider. Yeah, I, I ain't a, never seen a building no, that size. No. That was so <laughs> massive. And in the middle of nowhere, too. Sheep, sheep, black sheep, yeah. sheep. Phoenix Gigantic Mart. Phoenix Mart and <laughs> sheep, 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 sheep. I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that was that was completely insanity. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We should go check it out more. Yeah, we need to. I think it'd be cra I mean, there's pro unfortunately, there's probably nothing in there, but it'd just be interesting oh, to Oh, it'd go. just be cool. Even if you just had, like, a, um, borrow a drone or something and take it from one end to the yeah, other. That would be nice. That'd be a fucking two-minute video. Yeah. It would <laughs> just be. Just cruising the fucking as thing. As fast as it could go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it'd be great guerrilla shooting style there oh, yeah. if we were to shoot like a uh, short somehow. Yeah, any kind of a thing there. Yeah, we'd have to see how it looks, but I couldn't believe how thing that how big that thing I, was. I couldn't either. I and mean, it looks like it looked like they stopped building on it in like, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it looked like they stopped building in like 2017. So like two years has just wow, been sitting there. Just been sitting. Cause Cause it I mean, it looks pretty fresh. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's dilapidated at all. That's what I was going to say. It looks nice. Like it's still, hey, let's jump in there and, yeah. you know, frame this fucker up. Absolutely. 
Yeah, Amazon should definitely jump on that. I yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe they tried because they they have to have known that that shit's out there. Yeah, I'm sure Elon's trying to. I mean, rape them. They'd be giving that thing away just to get somebody there paying taxes. Like, it's already there. I mean, something. I mean, that that's just crazy. But there's like liens on the property. And all this crazy there's pro- shit. Yeah, there's probably so many pieces to where it's just like, oh, that's yeah. just. Nah, just well, you be... figure Eloy probably gave away the land. Like, oh, yeah, give him the land. Fuck Absolutely. Who gives a shit? And then you pay us. Collect those taxes. Whatever we're getting I mean, off, yeah. I mean, you figure like an outlet mall opens in your town and you just get the taxes on that. Mm-hmm. You're, you're good. You know, you're going to have a, a fat fucking city real quick. Yeah. Yeah, but that was that was just completely Phoenix insane, might. man. But the fact that it was so far off the freeway was really weird. Like, well, that's, didn't think that's that the whole bizarre thing part. Through. Like, Who's going to drive? It sounded really neat, but who the fuck would drive to Eloy for that? Well, it's not even... <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it's not even close to the freeway no. at all. Not, not in any direction. No. it just It's just this little two-lane road yep. with fields with filled with sheep on both yep. sides. Yeah, I bet the Coolidge people would have a back way to get there, and they probably would have gone. Yeah, maybe they were planning people. on expanding more of that area as far as the roads go, but... And, and yeah, maybe they had plans, you know, maybe the... The shops, it's, you know, it said like restaurants and shops, but it had everything like it would have everything from like, um, like, let's say you wanted to make something. It would even have like, um, like supplies, like textile stuff or whatever, you know, like you could right. buy shit to build shit or you could buy shit that was already built. Like it would have everything, hmm. like everything you could ha- possibly want in an e-commerce type or in a commerce environment That's and then food and then a five star resort. So maybe that was going to be, you know, over here, like it was going to be bigger than that building, but. Huh? I've never, yeah, I've never seen a building that fucking big. Yeah, very, very bizarre, for sure. Maybe yeah. our company can buy it, and move out there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something they'd do. <laughs> it would be. It would be. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna build an apartment building next door to it. You can all live there. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Wow, you guys are just. <laughs> you guys think ahead. You really do. So this is our first third world operation. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Very, very crazy shit out there. I mean, yeah. very desolate, but definitely, like we were saying, perfect place to shoot the trailer that we want to shoot at, too, in that area. Absolutely. Yeah. Tons of room. Yeah, that, that'd be that'd be a lot of fun, man. For sure. We'll have to think about something along those lines. Good shit, man. Yeah, it was good shit. Uh, hour and 27. Um, yeah, so, sorry, I mean, we didn't have a letter this time. Uh, I mean, it was still better because we yeah. actually got to. I actually got to visit with my yeah. better for you, my for boy. Sure. Yeah, entertaining for everybody else. Definitely. So I don't know if he's gonna write me. I'm sure he will, but I don't know when. After I had wrote him back, maybe he already did. But he, he I think he would have told me if he did. Yeah. That. So I got to make sure I give him my number because I yeah I checked my phone. I don't have a call from him. Oh yeah. I, so he must did not have that? my correct number. No, I just told because I haven't seen him yet. Oh, you know, he had told me when we were there. He's like, dude, I called your number. It was like, or I called you. It was like ten ish this morning. Yeah. I was like, I'll have to check. I don't remember getting a call. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you couldn't tell him because you didn't have your phone. Yeah, because I didn't have my phone. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, hopefully, um, I can like when I give it, you know, next time I see him, or at least maybe when I write him or something like that, we'll be able, I'll be able to give him my number and maybe yep. he can at least give me a shout. But you know. Hopefully he writes to me soon, and we'll have another letter yeah. from B Rad. But or we'll this just is... open up an old one. Oh yeah, that's right. We can still we open can up an old one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's we've right. We've gone old school for a while. We'll do a flashback episode. Yeah, so we might do. Uh, yeah, well, maybe the next pod, next one we do, uh, we'll plan on doing a a letter, whether it's a new one or a uh, past one. Yeah. But uh, all right. Well, again, until then, thanks again for always taking the time to listen and uh, listen to us. I hope you guys enjoyed. These last couple of episodes that we uh, have done with the visitation with Brad. And we did tell you another ones to go ahead and email us or drop us a line if you if there's uh, questions you wanted us to write to them. But now you could ask questions point blank. If anybody sent in a question, we could you could ask them when you went and visited them even. So yeah. we'll answer your question even faster than the U.S. mail <laughs> if you're interested. But, yeah. you know, drop us a line. Let us know what you're thinking. Definitely. Um, love hearing from people. Um, yeah, I mean, it'd be good. And uh, I know he does enjoy that too. Um, but, yeah, let us know. Um, always, you know, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and 
to give it a uh, a rating and um, yes, please and visit, of course, our uh, YouTube channel, which is Juan and Joe Studios. Uh, that's what it is, Juan and Joe Studios. Juan and right? Joe Studios, yep, on YouTube. Yeah, check that out. You can subscribe there, ring the bell to get some notifications. Hell yeah, like hit some that, of our hit videos. that like button, hella times. Yeah, comment on our videos. The comments are great. Share them. Share them. Whichever, whatever you can do. Uh, we have all For sorts sure. of types of there: blogs, uh, animations, skit comedy, sketch comedy, whatever. Yeah, we have quite a few things there, always active. And then don't forget to check out our website. At JuanandJoeComedy.com. Yep. That's all updated, too. Got all the videos on there now. There was a, a uh, couple days behind on that one. Very nice. Oh, shit. Better update that. It's shit. hard because you have to update everything. Yeah. Uh, just and just update on its own. Check out the shirts, ktshirts.net. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can try to even run a special that we will uh, maybe give some proceeds to Brad uh, from the, some That's of the shirts that we idea. can sell. Yeah, do a little co-word B-Rad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just, we'll, we'll run that. We'll put something uh, put we'll, something we'll put together something out there for that. so we can at least give him a little bit of coin that we yeah. get. Especially if we develop his line of shirts. Oh, God, his line He'll of shirts would be great. He'll get that, all the right? proceeds yeah. in. Yeah, I, I would say so. Tie that right into great. a Western Union account to him. Yeah, yeah, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. So don't forget to check us out on all that good shit yeah swing over to instagram that's where we're the most active is and all this uh social media crap yeah we're definitely more active on instagram and uh than sometimes anything. it just posts on facebook on its own i let it do that yeah me too okay go ahead yeah me too I, 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 I can't <laughs> I, I hardly ever log into that bullshit yeah. nope uh but uh, until then hope you guys enjoyed it again i am jose i'm jonathan good talking to you guys peace That's a fucking rap.